What's up guys, this is Weasel for PokerWeasel.com. This is a quick overview of the Preflop Reigns package to help you get started. This is what the main directory looks like. You can see there's a number of formats there. There's Power Equilab format, Flopzilla format, Excel format, and some other formats. The recommended format for using the Preflop Ranges is the Power Equilab format. Now perhaps you don't have Power Equilab, we'll get to that shortly. The reason why it's the recommended format is because this is the format that I create the ranges in originally. This means the latest version of the ranges is going to be available in Power Equilab format before it's available in any other format. So if you're interested in getting the ranges the same day that I create them, you'll need to have the Power Equilab format. They will be available in the other formats at some point, but you'll have to wait for a period of time to get them. Let's take a quick look at how to import the Power Equilab file into Power Equilab. Firstly, we go to the Power Equilab directory. We're interested in that .hr file. This is how Power Equilab stores its ranges. We're going to download that. We're going to need that shortly to import into Power Equilab. Now let's fire up Power Equilab. You can get a two-week trial of Power Equilab if you don't have it already. Then after that, I think you can even renew your trial for another two weeks. So even if you're not interested in purchasing Power Equilab, you can use it temporarily to access my ranges in the preferred format and get access to the most up-to-date current ranges. However, at a cost of roughly five bucks a month for the subscription, I do actually just recommend for serious players that they just shell out that money and have a regular Power Equilab subscription. You can get access to all of the latest ranges as they come out. What's more, you can manipulate those ranges and use them in various different types of calculations. Power Equilab is pretty much the most advanced equity calculator on the market in terms of the number of features it has. So it's really worth it for any poker player who's serious about that game to think about just paying the five bucks a month subscription fee. Once we have Power Equilab open, note that we can't import it by just going into one of these drop down boxes here. It's necessary first to open the range viewer. Hand range selection, we click here. Then in the window that pops up, this is where we import the .hr file. It's very important you do this first, otherwise it's not going to be able to import the file. We then click on import, we go to the downloads, and there we go. This is the .hr file. We're gonna click open. Now, I already have the ranges imported. This is the Power Equilab I used to create the range in the first place, so I'm not going to re-import it and have double ranges. So I'm gonna click cancel for now. You'll obviously choose open. After you choose open, this is what you're gonna get. Another reason why you might prefer to use the Power Equilab format over the other formats is because I have several different versions of preflop ranges available in this format. My latest ranges are under this category, Population Exploit Ranges. At the time of making this video, these are only available through Power Equilab. These are my recommended ranges for using in 6 max cash games. The ranges that came before this, the ones that are available in the Excel document and all of the other formats are the master ranges. So you're probably going to be picking either between the population exploit ranges or the master ranges. Now there are some other ranges here for your perusal. For example, we have Matt Janda's range from applications of Nolan Holdem, if you want to check those out. Also have some older ranges from my Weasels walkthrough series, perhaps you've seen that 10 part strategy series crash course of how to beat six max cash games and in that series I gave out some ranges well they're all here in Power Equilab but you won't find them available in the other formats now just a quick word on functionality let's open up a sample range in the population exploit ranges let's have a look for example at big blind versus button three big blind open so you can see two colors there blue is the cold calling range and the pinkish color is the three bet range now the way I access the colors here is by clicking directly on the colored ranges. What some of you are going to do is you're going to click on big blind versus button. You're going to see everything's in blue. Then you're going to contact me on Skype to say why aren't there any colors to the ranges. Please desist from doing that. You have to click on the colored part of the ranges to see the various colors. Hopefully the color schemes are somewhat obvious. For example, if we move on to big blind versus small blind 4-bet, this is the defending range. Hopefully it doesn't take rocket science to figure out that the light green is the jamming range and the dark green is the flatting range. It shouldn't be necessary to have any kind of guide. Besides, as much as possible, I'm hopefully going to indicate what the type of range is. You can see depolarized 3-bet range 
is in pink, cold calling range is in blue. Now on that topic, the main difference in a lot of spots with the population exploit ranges and the master ranges is that the master ranges use a polarized range construction in a variety of different spots. That means, for example, big blind versus button, the master ranges are going to advocate a polarized strategy. This is especially effective if our opponent is folding a lot to 3-bets, you want to be using a polarized range construction in that case. However, most players don't fold enough to 3-bets, they don't fold enough to 4-bets, so polarization doesn't necessarily make sense against the average unknown, and this is exactly where the population exploit ranges come in. So when we have a look, for example, at big blind versus button 2.5x, as we see on the screen, this is a depolarized 3-betting range construction. When we have a look at the 4-betting ranges, we'll also see that they are depolarized. So we're not 4-betting a range of value hands and a range of bluffs. We're 4-betting a pure depolarized linear range. So for example, we have here small blind versus big blind 6BB 3-bet, so a little bit smaller than normal. This is going to be the 4-bet range I recommend. The 4-bet range is in pink. Again, hopefully that's obvious. Now this might look like a polarized range, but it's really not. It's a depolarized range along with some range protection. So we have some hands like ace queen suited in our flatting range. But we're not 4-betting something like 7-9 suited or 6-7 suited. That would be a true polarized range construction where we take a holding such as 6 high and decide to put it in our 4-betting range. We haven't constructed the range that way. Everything in the 4-betting range here is high equity. So we can refer to this as a depolarized range construction. So that's the main difference between population exploit and master ranges. You might find that you want to check both ranges and make a decision based on your opponent. Now despite being my recommended format for the ranges, this is not the most popular format for the ranges. Many people are here because they've seen the Excel spreadsheet. It's clickable, allows you to access the range without using any type of poker software. Many players are here for that version of the ranges. Now you can find that version in the Excel format. So we're going to download where it says advanced master ranges. Now you might wonder what's the basic ranges. This is actually essentially the ranges from the walkthrough series. The main difference between the basic ranges and the advanced ranges is the basic ranges don't break it down by different sizings. So they don't tell you, for example, how to defend against the min raise, how to defend against 2.5, how to defend against the three big blind open. They simply have one defending range for each position. Now this is especially good if you're just starting out at poker and you don't want to be confused by a lot of different defending ranges which change somewhat dramatically based on the size of the open raise that we face. So the basic ranges might be for you. Most players are probably going to go with the advanced master ranges because they are more detailed. Now as mentioned, this is the master range. It doesn't include at this stage the population exploit ranges. The plan here is to finish the population exploit ranges using Power Equilab first, then once everything is complete, to transfer those ranges over to the Excel document. Now, of course, if you want those ranges instantly into the Excel document, you could, of course, just get a Power Equilab trial and start copying some of the ranges over onto the Excel spreadsheet. But for those of you that don't want to do that, it's recommended that you use Power Equilab in the meantime, then at some point, the population exploit ranges will be available in the Excel document. Having said that, you don't really need the population exploit ranges. The master ranges are very comprehensive, they cover most of the important spots for preflop play, so you should be fine going off those ranges, there's nothing wrong with them, they can produce a winning strategy so long as you play correctly post-flop, so they should be good for most players. Usually what I say is, if you've come here primarily for the Excel sheet, you consider yourself let's say a recreational or maybe a serious amateur, you're probably okay with those Excel documents. If you're here as someone who wants to go pro, you're thinking about being a professional poker player, then I strongly recommend that you just shell out those five bucks a month for the Power Equilab subscription, not just for the ranges, but also for the additional features that come with Power Equilab, which are gonna be very useful for you as you progress in your poker career. Let's have a quick look at what the Excel document looks like. Again, you probably want to download the document first. Keep in mind that the Excel document will not work online. So it won't work on Excel online. It will not work in any of the variations of Microsoft Excel made by different companies. So it won't work in LibreOffice. It won't work in OpenOffice. This particular spreadsheet will only work in Microsoft Excel. 
if you don't have Microsoft Excel, there'll be no other spreadsheet processor which can use this file, or at least I haven't seen any other spreadsheet processor capable of handling this file. So you will need Microsoft Excel. If you don't have Microsoft Excel, that's why there are other formats available. I recommend that don't pay for Microsoft Excel, just pay for Power Equilab instead. But of course, if you're really desperate to get the Excel version, then you may need to pay for Excel or get it elsewhere. So let's download the master ranges. Let's just have a quick look at the document. Now, when you first open the file, you'll notice that there are some notices at the top. And you're going to have to agree to some of these notices. For example, you can see here it says security warning, macros have been disabled. So macros, they're basically the script that allows the Excel sheet to be clickable. If you don't enable those macros, the sheet's not going to be clickable. It's not really going to be that useful. So you have to click enable content. It's completely safe. There's no viruses or anything like that. It's not going to damage your computer. Once we've done that, everything should be clickable. So let's say, for example, we wanted to have a look at big blind versus button. Notice there are sizings here as well. So I've clicked on big blind. I've clicked on button. I want to see defending range against 2.5 BB open. I click on 2.5. want to see defending range against min rays. I click on there. As we were mentioning, what should become evident immediately is this is now a polarized range construction. So you can see that we're now three betting those six high and seven high type speculative holdings against the open race. So the difference with the population exploit ranges is there won't be any of those speculative hands being three bet. It will only be the high equity hands. As mentioned, these ranges should still be fine, but they're especially useful if our opponent is, let's say, a reg who is actually capable of folding some of the time to three bets. As a rough guide, if your opponent is certainly folding less than 50% of the time to 3 bets, it might be that you don't want to be using the polarized range construction. It's most likely you want to be using the population exploit range construction, which, as mentioned, is not here in the Excel format just yet. But you could, of course, copy it over if you wanted to. Now, there are some other formats here. I don't necessarily recommend these formats. And it's not because the software is bad. For example, Flopzilla, it's very good software. You can see how hard certain ranges hit certain flops. The reason why I don't necessarily recommend these is because they're not a priority for getting the latest ranges. Certainly very usable formats. In terms of the Flopzilla ranges, it's currently the master ranges only. And before the population exploit ranges get to Flopzilla, they're first going to be put in Excel format and then finally Flopzilla. So you're really just not getting access to the latest ranges. But perhaps you only have Flopzilla, you want to see the master ranges, then you can come here and grab this file. The other formats, I'd mostly consider this a last resort. You can't get anything else working. There is image format, video format. I'll definitely try and update the video format with the new population exploit ranges at some point. So these are really, if you can't get any of the other formats working, this image format there as well. And also poker chart format. Seems to be software that has potential, and it seems to be freeware poker range storing software. It's a little bit difficult to use though. I absolutely can't give any support on how to use this software. Someone put my ranges into poker chart for me, but I haven't really used the software too much. So to summarize, I strongly recommend that you get Power Equilab to get the most out of the ranges. But if you don't want to get that, then the second best format to get is probably going to be the Excel format because the population exploit ranges will be transferred over to there as soon as they've been completed in the Power Equilab format. Now, one final note, if you're interested in getting more information on the ranges, and this is exactly why I have a complete video series which is designed around the master ranges called Preflop Perfection. So if you head on over to PokerWeasel.com, you can see the Preflop Perfection series there. There are six parts plus the introduction, so you can watch the introduction for free. And each of the parts of the series deals with a different aspect of preflop play. Now included with this video series is the preflop ranges. So for example, if you're interested in buying the preflop ranges, but you also want some content to go along with it, if you buy the full series here for $45, you can also get the preflop ranges, which currently they're going for 20 bucks. Now, if you've already bought the ranges and you're seeing this just now, if you contact me on Skype, I will give you the video series for the remaining $25. So basically you can still take advantage of this offer even if you've already purchased the ranges, or even if you've purchased one or two of the videos here, you can just pay the difference and you can get the full series and also the preflop ranges, which the series is based around. All right, thanks for checking out this video.
Hopefully you'll enjoy the pre-float ranges. This was Weasel for PokerWeasel.com.